Hey guys, welcome to another commentary slash shoutcast slash replay watch. Watch along, replay watch along with me, Fire Expert. Giving you a shoutcast here between Mouse Moro we have in the top of Lost Temple as the Green Zerg Mouse Moro. And in the right side over here we have Liquid TLO. Liquid TLO, the fan favorite, the, you know, the uh, fan favorite is the best way to actually describe him. Everybody loves him. He has such unique styles most of the time and everybody just seems to love what he does. Also a very nice guy. Seemingly very nice guy. I've never met him in person. But I've definitely seen interviews with him and uh, you know read interviews with him. Seems like such an awesome awesome guy and everybody just seems to love him. We have a pylon coming down. He's going to want to block off this ramp because against Zerg, you never know. They can just all of a sudden decide they want to start making a billion Zerglings and then they can do that. Um, Tilo actually not sending out a probe. Usually you send out a probe here. Just send him out to about there and back to the sea if the Overlord is coming in and you can know right away where your opponent is. Uh, so let's see if TLO actually notices this and he could save himself a lot of mining time or a lot of scouting time by doing that but if he chooses to scout the wrong way now I'm going to totally blame him and call, and call him names and say that he's not actually good so he doesn't see that overlord just yet he is actually going to scout the wrong way so darn you TLO you. anyway moral of the story send out your probe see if that overlord is going to come and scout your base. Tilo, I believe, playing random in this tournament. This is from the one of the Team Liquid Opens. That is for the qualification for the TSL, the Team Liquid, uh, the, yeah, the TSL, uh, TSL 3, that is. Uh, what does what it stand for? Team Liquid Star League, I would, I would assume. Uh, I'm totally blanking on that, but I think that's what it is. Uh, spawning pool coming down on uh, it was probably 12, I don't know, 13, but he, the important thing is that he got that spawning pool before this hatchery, so little one is going to get there and see that, and these zerglings are going to be able to pop out and prevent any sort of pylon from coming down, blocking that expansion, so this is a very safe build coming in from Moro, he does have those, um, it looks like he did go gas first, because he did pull off those probes from the gas, and he is getting that very quick, metabolic boost. So these, this pile, uh, this probe might want to put down a pylon. Let's see what he's going to do. Is he going to put it down? Is he going to put it down? That is a lot of stuff. He actually is just going to die. So, uh, you know, dying is also a thing to do on, you know, with your probe. Soccer going to come out, try and chase away that overlord so he doesn't get too much vision. Um, pretty far distances actually to rush on this map, Lost Temple. Uh, pretty far distances, not not as close as say from here to here, but not as far as from here to here. So we do see two gateways and three gateways going down. So this is going to be a, a quick four gate for our TLO friend here, T, our Team Liquid friend TLO actually. Um, TLO playing for Team Liquid, one of the biggest, biggest, absolutely biggest teams out there in the entire world. Um, they've got a couple of guys over in Korea, four people in Korea actually, Rhett, uh, Jinro, Huck, and Heypro are all over there representing Team Liquid in Korea, trying to qualify for that GSL, trying to win a ton of money, and they also have TLO, was in Korea for a little while, but now he's back in Europe, back in Germany, he's a German player, um, back in Germany representing Team Liquid over in Europe, and then in America, over here, North America, we have... Tyler as our Team Liquid representative. They're just really spread out throughout the world and doing incredible, incredible things. Such a good team. I always forget how good they are until I say all of their names. And oh, a couple of spine crawlers. Moro did see apparently that this pressure was coming in and he's built four spine crawlers, but these uh, Zerlings are just gonna die so quickly. So all these zealots right here. The queen's helping out just a little bit, but it looks like uh, these four spine crawlers are just about to pop, but no, TLO just walks up the ramp. He says, you're going to put those spine crawlers there. I'm just going to walk up the ramp, you know. So now he has six zealots and a stalker inside 
the base of Moro, and this is not looking good. He's going to be able to squeeze in there and really minimize the surface area that those Zerglings are going to be able to attack in. And let's see what happens. Oh, he actually, wow, the Zerglings actually get a pretty nice surround off on all of those units. And is this Queen going to go down? The Queen does go down. That is huge, actually, at this point in the game. That is absolutely huge. This is Elliot, and the Stalker is still alive, taking out quite a few, oh my goodness, quite a few drones they took out and forcing all of these zerglings and all these fine crawlers from Miles Moro. That is something that a zerg player does not want to do this early in the game. Let's look what's going down. Uh, uh, Nexus is going down for TLO. Ah, oh, I see what happened. Moro had, uh, I believe, he, I believe Moro had an overlord here and he saw that there was only one gas going down. That's why he threw down all of those spine crawlers. Because when you see one gas from your opponent and it's not a and it's not a fast expand, which you saw right here, you know that some very, very intense zealot pressure is going to come and the best way to deal with that is either roaches or these spine crawlers. That's why haha, I figured it out. That is why he did that. And we see a robotics facility coming down. Let's take to take a look at that production tab. Now droning up hard for Mouse Moral, and we see Hallucination coming down. That's one of those things that uh, you normally wouldn't see, but TLO is going to do it, and people are probably going to love him for it. Really great. Uh, let's talk about uh, Moral, actually, for a little bit. Mouse Moral from the, from the Mouse Sports team. That is also uh, a European team. Uh, there's some great people on their team. Uh, Mouse Mana, Mana, Mouse Nama, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, that they have those names that are so similar. Uh, a couple of other guys, uh, Duckload Raw well, used to be on there. Now, of course, Duckload, but obviously a very good, very good European team. And Moro, there was some controversy at the a couple months back with him because he used to play Terran, and he won actually an IEM as Terran, and then he switched to Zerg, and everyone was so just kind of bad mannering him because he switched and this overlord coming in trying to see what's going on he is going to actually see this robotic play that is coming down for TLO so he's going to be able to prepare for these colossus that are about to come out and uh, we see that hallucinated phoenix actually going over for, uh, and wow TLO actually cancels the robotic play and throws down two stargates Right as that after that overlord dies, I believe that Mouse Moro. Yep, he still thinks of that. Oh my goodness! Actually, three Stargates coming down for TLO, and I think you can see why people actually love this guy's play. Meanwhile, we see uh, Moro coming in, probably going to expand uh, a couple places. He's actually controlling these very well. Uh, yep, he does throw down expand there. Is he going to throw one down here? Uh, kind of a dancing probe right now. And this Hallucinated Phoenix is coming in. He's not going to be able to do any damage, obviously. In fact, he's going to shoot... Oh my gosh, I love this. He's going to shoot at Overlords and show that it's actually a hallucination. Then he's going to come in with the real remixes. Already getting that plus one, that plus one air weapon. You have to love stuff like this from TLO. Such beautiful, beautiful... Oh my goodness, he is just so entertaining to watch. And a couple more spine crawlers coming down. Actually, I think making a full wall off for Moro right there. Of course, these spine crawlers can lift if he needs them to. And we see a spire coming down. So absolutely the wrong thing. He was thinking that Colossus were going to come out, and that Mulex would have been pretty darn good against them. And TLO keeping these phoenixes back here, not wanting to show them until I wonder if he if he knows that that spire is coming up. He did scout that spire with his hallucinated phoenix. So this is just absolutely beautiful play. I am so happy right now, in fact, that this is actually happening. And uh, uh, Mouse Moro is going to be so upset to find three starport phoenix. This is in the new patch also, where phoenix just take 35 seconds to build, and when they're chrono boosted, they come out unbelievably quickly unbelievably quickly meanwhile let's take a look at the harvester count they're actually even all of that pressure that that TLO put on tomorrow in the beginning is really catching up to him now and this hallucinated thing is coming in and these are not in fact hallucinated yeah Moro doing absolutely no damage with a ton a ton of mutilists so many mutilists being lost right there that is just not something that you want. And now these phoenixes are just going to town. 
There is one spore crawler coming down, but really nothing there to deal with these, and they're getting so many, so, so many drone kills right now, and they're going to be able to take out these overlords as well. That is just absolutely huge. Uh, we see a couple of zelts whacking away at those gold minerals. Bunch of overlords going down. Not quite supply blocks because he lost so many mutas. Uh, which is not what you want to have happen. You don't want to be unsupplyable because you lose a ton of your units. And Tielo took out the queen at the main, took out the queen at the natural expansion. He is going to go, does he know about this other base? He doesn't, but he's going to probably scout it pretty quickly right now. And he does scout it right now, and he's going to take out a drone. He takes out a queen. He's going to take out a queen, see if he goes in to take out a couple of drones. He is going to take out the drones. That's full crawler. It's seeming like it's taking forever to build. Really, it's taking normal time, but these things are just doing so much damage. And now Void Ray coming out. Let's take a look at the production tabs. We have that on there. Zerg Missile Attacks, level 1, coming out, as well as the Air Attacks. Uh, I'm not sure why. If he thinks he's actually going to get Mutas out, he is kidding himself. Uh, the Missile Attacks does make sense because he's probably going to have some Hydras coming out. That Hydra Den is down right now. Tilo actually has some of the best multitasking that I can ever, that I ever watch. When I'm watching streams, Tilo is, I mean, one of the best multitaskers, which is beautiful for these Phoenix because you really do kind of have to babysit them a little bit. But if you can manage to do that, then they are so, so good. And a ton, a ton of Zealots and Sentries coming in. That Guardian Shield actually reduces the damage coming in from these four Spine Crawlers, I believe, because it is uh, against range attacks and drones being forced to be pulled. And there isn't even a Queen here to help. These Spine Crawlers are just going down. These Zealots are doing so much damage when they get in close. A couple of Hydras coming in, but there's just not going to be enough. These Zealots are going to be able to come in. And meanwhile, we see the Robotics they coming down. TLO is putting down this expansion here at the gold base as we see and just absolutely tearing through everything Mouse Moral is doing. Moral being forced to make overlords at this time because he just lost so many of them and being supply block is not something you want to do. Ten Hydralisks are on their way but I don't know if they're going to be enough. It looks like it's going to be too late. Uh, and there is the GG. Oh my goodness. So we saw TLO actually cancel the Robo Bay that Moral very, very well timingly scouted. An absolutely uh, vital time to scout your opponent. And he thought that he knew what was coming, so he went for <laughs> Mutalisk. But nope. Cancel the Robo Bay and immediately goes for three Port Phoenix. That is something that you will only see TLO do. Uh, really some beautiful, beautiful play. Even hiding, saving the Phoenix until he saw those Mutalisks come out because he did remember hallucinate the Phoenix to see that spire and scout it out. So really, really beautiful play coming in from TLO, our 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 pro best buddy. Uh, big shout out to Plexa from Team Liquid for uh, posting these replays. They are from the Team Liquid Open. Remember to check that out. They will. They are usually streaming that on weekends. Their new TLO opens happening every weekend up until the point where they have everyone that will play in TSL. So. Uh, thank you so much for watching. That was a great game. I'm very excited. Uh, now it's 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to watch me some GSL. So, Team Link, GSL Team Link. Um, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep a lookout on my channel for more videos, and thank you again for watching so much.